Hi guys, my name is Roger and welcome to a new video. In this video, I'm going to answer the question of a viewer, Timbo Slice, and he said to me, well, Roger, I got this MV and my MV has some really nice sounds and I want to have them into Fruity Loops. Well, I want to control my MV with Fruity Loops, with FL Studio. He asked me how to do it. Well, I'm going to show you how it works because we are going to set the MV into multi-temporal mode, separate mode, and then I will show you how to set up, in this case, FL Studio. It will for sure work with every DAW as long as you set it up correctly with MIDI. So, curious how it works? Let's take a look. To use the MV series from Roland as a multi temporal sampler, you need to connect a cable from MIDI in to the MIDI out of your sound card, which is connected to your computer. Also you need to connect a cable from MIDI in of your sound card to your master keyboard MIDI out. We need to prepare the MV8000 in this case. So we go to system, MIDI, multi timbre sampler mode, we do on. So now we are ready to load patches into the memory of the MV8000 and then later on use them in your favorite DAW. In this case I will use a trial version of Fruity Loops. So let me load some samples over here. I go to instruments. I want to load a patch. Load patch. And I choose in this case key and I love the Mark V so I load this one. Execute. I will also load road 73 on part number 2. Execute. And okay, super roads also over here. Okay, close. So now we see over here part one, two, three are filled with patch electric pan piano mark V roads 73 in the super roads. So part one, two, three means MIDI channel number one, two, and three. So you can load up 16 different MIDI channels full with your sounds of your MV and use them in this case in Fruity Loops. I will show you how it works. So I downloaded a trial version of FL Studio 20 um, for Mac. I've never used it, but um, I can imagine that people like this kind of software. Um, it looks good and I think it's also easy to use. Um, yes, very popular program. Anyway, I'm going to use this program to play with the MV8000 in multi temporal sound mode sampler mode and I have uploaded uh, three sounds into my MV8000 Mark V, Road 73 and Super Road uh, first I'm going to prepare the Fruity Loops uh, application so we go to preferences because we have to make sure that it receives MIDI information so I go to MIDI over here and we see here my sound card complete audio 6 and also here in input complete audio 6 first i will change here the port to port 1 and we see okay midi hardware port 1 for the complete audio and also over here port 1 okay this is set so if i now play on my keyboard You will hear some sounds. Perhaps this this is from the 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 from the application from Fruity Loops. But also you see here in the corner over here you see MIDI information, velocity, notes. Okay, so it is working. We're going to prepare a track, and in this case, track number one, and. I will say okay here in track mode 
I have to choose instrument track MIDI out. So this is done, and we see here MIDI channel number one and port zero. But I've set in preferences port one. So if we change this to port one, MIDI channel one, so if I'm right, then I should hear now the mark V on part number one of the MV8000. Let's try. Yes. Yes, it works. Okay, so then channel number two should be the road 73. Yes. Works. And channel number three should be the super roads. Channel two. Channel one. Okay. Cool. Yes, it works. Okay, now I want to record something into Fruity Loops. Let's give it a try. Um, metronome is on. BPM, no BPM, not 130. We go to, let's say, 92. 3 to 1, which for sure means count in. Uh, loop. Well, first, let's start. Well, let's try something. Okay, record. What does it says? Audio. Audio. No, I want notes and information because I don't want to have my audio into Fruity Loops of my MV8000. I want to have audio from the MV8000 playing uh, and only triggering notes. So, notes. Okay. Let's give it a try. Okay, I stop, um, I do play, oh yes, okay, here it is, okay, it works, for sure I can add a beat. Very easy. Uh, I need to quantize this. Oh, what I do? Oh, I removed it. <laughs> is there an undo? Is there? A, uh, I guess. I guess this is one. The undo. Yes. Cool. Okay. But basic information in this video was how to set up your MV8000 as a multi-timbral sampler. For, in this case, Fruity Loops, but for sure you can also use other uh, digital audio workstations, dolls. So, this was it guys. Nothing more, nothing less. Just a simple explanation how to set it up. MIDI in, MIDI out, keyboard, setting up your hardware, and that's it. Okay. Thank you for watching guys. See you in the next video. Bye bye. Bye bye.